Meldonium, trade named as Mildronate among others, is a limited market pharmaceutical, developed in 1970 by Ivers Calvins, Latvian Institute of Organic Synthesis, and manufactured primarily by Grindex of Latvia and several generic manufacturers. It is distributed in Eastern European countries as an anti-ischemia medication. Since the 1st of January 2016, it has been on the World Anti-Doping Agency list of substances banned from use by athletes. However, there are debates over its use as an athletic performance enhancer. Some athletes are known to have been using it before it was banned. It is currently unscheduled in the U.S. Medical use Meldonium may be used to treat coronary artery disease. These heart problems may sometimes lead to ischemia, a condition where too little blood flows to the organs in the body, especially the heart. Because this drug is thought to expand the arteries, it helps to increase the blood flow as well as increase the flow of oxygen throughout the body. Meldonium has also been found to induce anticonvulsant and antihypnotic effects involving alpha-2 adrenergic receptors as well as nitric oxide dependent mechanisms. This, in summary, shows that meldonium given in acute doses could be beneficial for the treatment of seizures and alcohol intoxication. It may also have some effect on decreasing the severity of withdrawal symptoms caused by the cessation of chronic alcohol use. Pharmacology Meldonium is believed to work through its ability to increase the size of blood vessels and therefore improve blood flow. Although initial reports suggested meldonium is a non-competitive and non-hydroxylatable analog of gamma butero beta in further studies have identified that meldonium is a substrate for gamma butero beta in dioxygenase. X-ray crystallographic and in vitro biochemical studies suggest Suggest that meldonium binds to the substrate pocket of gamma butyra beta in hydroxylase and acts as an alternative substrate, and therefore a competitive inhibitor. Normally, this enzyme's action on its substrates gamma butyra beta in and 2 oxyglutarate gives, in the presence of the further substrate oxygen, the product cell carnitine, succinate, and carbon dioxide. In the presence of this alternate substrate, the reaction yields malonic acid semialdehyde, formaldehyde, diamethylamine, and acetic acid, an unexpected product with an additional carbon-carbon bond resulting from endomethylation coupled to oxidative rearrangement, likely via an unusual radical mechanism. The unusual mechanism is thought likely to involve a Stevens-type rearrangement. Meldonium's inhibition of gamma butyra beta in hydroxylase gives a half-maximal inhibitory concentration value of 62 micromolar, which other study authors have described as potent. Meldonium is an example of an inhibitor that acts as a non-peptidal substrate mimic. In further primary research reports, meldonium has been shown, by nuclear magnetic resonance, to also bind to carnitine acetyltransferase, a ubiquitous enzyme that plays a role in cellular energy metabolism. It also inhibits this enzyme, although even more weakly, physical and chemical properties. The chemical name of meldonium is 3-propionate. It is a structural analogue of gamma butero beta in, with an amino group replacing the C4-methylene of gamma butero beta in. A. Gamma butero beta in is a precursor in the biosynthesis of carnitine. It has a molecular weight of 146.188. It is available as a white crystalline powder, as well as a capsule sold by Grindex. The melting point is anywhere between 85 to 90 degrees Celsius. Society and Culture Doping Meldonium was added to the World Anti-Doping Agency list of banned substances effective 1 January 2016 because of evidence of its use by athletes, with the intention of enhancing performance. 
It was on the 2015 WADA's list of drugs to be monitored. An alarmingly high prevalence of meldonium use by athletes in sport was demonstrated by the laboratory findings at the Baku 2015 European Games. Thirteen medalists or competition winners were taking meldonium at the time of the Baku Games. Meldonium use was detected in athletes competing in 15 of the 21 sports during the games. Most of the athletes taking meldonium withheld the information of the use from anti-doping authorities by not declaring it on the doping control forms as they should have. Only 23 of the 662 athletes tested declared the personal use of meldonium. However, 66 of the total 762 of athlete urine samples analyzed during the games and during pre-competition tested positive for meldonium. WADA classes the drug as a metabolic modulator, just as it does insulin. Metabolic modulators are classified as S4 substances according to the WADA banned substances list. These substances have the ability to modify how some hormones accelerate or slow down different enzymatic reactions in the body. In this way, these modulators can block the body's conversion of testosterone into estrogen, which is necessarily for females. Based on the overall effects these drugs have, they have been banned since 2001 from men's competitions and 2005 for women's. As a doping drug, meldonium is used to enhance athletic performance by increasing the overall endurance of the athlete and speeding up the recovery time after a strenuous workout. This helps them with endurance in that they can train for a longer amount of time without needing breaks in between. They also have decreased recovery time, which means that they can return to competition or practice sooner without feeling as sore or tired as they would have without the assistance of the drug. On April 13, 2016 it was reported the WADA had issued updated guidelines allowing less than 1 microgram per milliliter of meldonium for tests done before March 1, 2016. The agency cited that preliminary tests showed that it could take weeks or months for the drug to leave the body. Affected athletes. On March 7, 2016, former world number one tennis player Maria Sharapova announced that she had failed a drug test in Australia due to the detection of meldonium. She said that she had been taking the drug for 10 years for various health issues and had not noticed that it had been banned. On June 8, 2016, she was suspended from playing tennis for two years by the International. National Tennis Federation. Earlier the same day, Russian ice dancer Ekaterina Bobrova announced that she had also tested positive for meldonium at the 2016 European Figure Skating Championships. Bobrova said she was shocked about the test result, because she had been made aware of meldonium's addition to the banned list, and had been careful to avoid products containing banned substances. In May 2016, Russian professional boxer Alexander Povetkin, a former two-time World Boxing Association heavyweight champion, tested positive for meldonium. This was discovered just a week prior to his mandatory title match against World Boxing Council heavyweight champion Deontay Wilder. As a result, the match, scheduled to take place in Povetkin's native Russia, was postponed indefinitely by the WBC. Other athletes who provisionally banned for using meldonium include Ethiopian Swedish middle distance runner Abiba Arigawi, Ethiopian long distance runner Endashor Negesi, Russian cyclist Edward Vorganov, and Ukrainian biathlete Solga Abramova and Artem Tyshenko. The Ice Hockey Federation of Russia replaced the Russia men's national under-18 ice hockey team with an under-17 team for the 2016 IIHF World U18 
championships after players on the original roster tested positive for meldonium. The World Anti-Doping Agency has recorded 124 positive samples with traces of meldonium since banning meldonium. These include, in addition it was reported that five Georgian wrestlers and a German wrestler had tested positive for the drug although no further names have released. On 25 March 2016 the Federation Internationale de Sambo confirmed that four wrestlers under the governance had recorded positive tests for the drug debates. A December 2015 study in the journal Drug Testing and Analysis argued that meldonium demonstrates an increase in endurance performance of athletes, improve rehabilitation after exercise, protection against stress, and enhanced activations of central nervous system functions. It is opposing to steroids in the sense that instead of making the athlete emotionally unstable and readily irritable, it keeps them in an elevated state of mind and keeps their emotions in a happier state. When referring to central nervous system enhancements, it better activates the neurons in the CNS. This improves the messaging system throughout the body and, therefore, can decrease reaction time for an athlete. The manufacturer, Grindex, said in a statement that it did not believe meldonium's use should be banned for athletes. It said the drug worked mainly by reducing damage to cells that can be caused by certain byproducts of carnitine. Meldonium is used to prevent death of ischemic cells and not to increase performance of normal cells, the statement said. Meldonium cannot improve athletic performance, but it can stop tissue damage in the case of ischemia, which is lack of blood flow to an area of the body. The drug was invented in the mid-1970s at the Institute of Organic Synthesis of the Latvian SSR Academy. Of Sciences by Ivers Calvins. Calvins criticized the ban, saying that WADA had not presented scientific proof that the drug can be used for doping. According to him, meldonium does not enhance athletic performance in any way, and was rather used by athletes to prevent damage to the heart and muscles caused by lack of oxygen during high intensity exercise. He contended that not allowing athletes to take care care of the health was a violation of their human rights, and that the decision aimed to remove Eastern European athletes from competitions and his drug from the pharmaceutical market. Lien Kozlovska, the head of the anti-doping department of the Latvian Sports Medicine Center, rejected claims that the ban is in violation of athletes' rights, saying that meldonium is dangerous in high doses, and should only be used under medical supervision supervision to treat genuine health conditions. She also speculated that Russian athletes may not have received adequate warnings that the drug was banned due to the suspension of the Russian anti-doping agency in late 2015. Forbes reported that anesthesiology professor Michael Joyner at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, who studies how humans respond to physical and mental stress during exercise and other activities, told them that evidence is lacking for many compounds believed to enhance athletic performance. Its use has a sort of urban legend element and there is not much out there that is clearly that effective. I would be shocked if this stuff had an effect greater than caffeine or creatine. Ford Vox, a U.S.-based physician specializing in rehabilitation medicine and a journalist reported, there's not much scientific support for its use as an athletic enhancer. Approval status, meldonium, which is not approved by the FDA in the United States, is registered and prescribed in Latvia, Russia, Ukraine, Georgia, Kazakhstan, Azerbaijan, Belarus, Uzbekistan, Moldova and Kyiv. Kyrgyzstan. Economics. Meldonium is manufactured by Grindex, a Latvian pharmaceutical company, with offices in 13 Eastern European countries as a treatment for heart conditions. The company identifies it as one of the main products.